So, how do you like your eggs? Well, fried, obviously, with this being a 996. As we're about to find out, this is a 996 Gem 1 Carrera, one of the early ones, as you can see by the amber lenses. But it's got a very special history. It's one of a kind. It's a bulletproof Porsche 996 prototype. So before we take a look in depth at this car, it's important as ever to talk through a little bit of history. Now, take your mind back to the end of the 1990s, around the start of the millennium period. Mercedes-Benz, obviously just up the road here in Stuttgart, they were making a lot of bulletproof cars uh, for diplomats and for royals and that sort of thing. Porsche kind of wanted to get in on that, not so much to kind of steal the bulletproof market, if you like, but just to kind of show what can be done with, well, the icon that is the Porsche 911. So they created this car. It's a one-off, one-of-one, bulletproof 906 Carrera. To look at, absolutely standard fare. Narrow body, bodywork is the same. It's only when you get to the glass that you realise things are a little bit different. The story goes that Porsche was approached by a customer who showed an interest in a bulletproof vehicle. Obviously, the company is not forthcoming in giving away the identity of said customer, but with the 996 offering such a radical change from the air-cooled 911s before it, part of me wonders if it was perhaps a high-ranking Porsche board member fearful of a 911 purist lynch mob. I digress. Porsche took a very early 996 Carrera in Dragonfly Turquoise Metallic off the production line in early 1997 and began its work to armour this special 911. The armouring consisted of new 20mm thick reinforced glass all round, specially created and supplied by Securit. It is of course double glazed, but as I mentioned, the whole point of this being bulletproof is thick glass. You will only see when you look down the side of the door just how thick that glass is. And as I say, the whole idea is that it's going to protect you should you get on the wrong side of a dispute involving some firearms. As mentioned, this is fitted all round behind what looks like standard factory glass, meaning the rear screen keeps its heated elements. Only the two inch black border on every pane gives this away as different from stock. Then there's the bodywork. Porsche has largely shunned the obvious choice of heavy duty steel, opting instead for Dyneema, a high energy absorbing composite fibre which is the same weight as steel but 15 times stronger. Again, none of this armouring is outwardly visible. To all intents and purposes, this is a normal Carrera. In case you're wondering, Porsche has tested the bulletproof credentials of this 996 as well, stating, in most places, the body and glazing withstood nine mm handguns and a 0.44 Magnum revolver. So, bulletproof, yes. That also means it's very, very heavy. This car weighs three tons, and despite all of that, it's still propelled from its naturally aspirated M96 engine at the back, developing only 300 horsepower. You might be bulletproof in this, but you're not going anywhere anytime soon. Yes, still four years away from a production debut of the 996 Turbo, which boasted 420 horsepower and all wheel drive, both of which would have come in handy here, I should think. The bulletproof 996 had to make do with a Carrera spec engine and drivetrain. Cannot emphasize how heavy that door is. Not exactly a cup piece, is it? Wow, now, I apologize for the picture. I've got some studio lights going on, but I'm hoping you can pick up from the microphone on the camera. Feels very different or sounds very different in here. Complete dead zone, to be honest with you. Now, as I said, despite the fact that this is bulletproof, this is otherwise a standard 996 Gen 1 Carrera, manual, of course. Predictably, this particular 996 has been very well optioned, boasting a high-end sound system, electrically adjustable and heated seats, and what looks like cruise control. Obviously, there's no sunroof. It's too hot in here anyway, I think I'm gonna get outside. <laughs> So why does this bulletproof 996 project remain a one-off? Simply put, the costs were great and demand was low, so Porsche decided to shelve the idea. It means this 996 is the only drivable bulletproof 911 in the world. Quite an accolade for this anti-firearm fried egg. So that's about it. The whole idea of this exercise was just to show what Porsche could do with their iconic Porsche 996. Don't forget, this was done when the 996 was new. It's a completely unique car part of the fabric of the Porsche history. You'll find it on and off in the Porsche Museum. I encourage you to have a look around. I don't think you'll be allowed to 
But as I say, it's a really, really cool part of Porsche history and it involves our favourite fried egg in the 996. It wasn't to be then, but it still makes for a cool chapter in the 911 story and shows that despite its wider reputation, the 996 can be considered bulletproof after all.